All right, today marks the three-year anniversary of Bitcoin, touching an intraday record of $19,783.21. You know, bulls piled in at that point. And here's what happened next. A relentless fall from grace in 2018 because it dropped to as low as $3,100 per coin. It's an 84% plunge. Just five months later, at the 2019 SALT conference in Vegas, I spoke to Bitcoin bull and famed Silicon Valley venture capitalist Tim Draper, who, by the way, this guy knows what he's doing. He made a killing being among the first to invest in a tiny auto startup years ago called Tesla. Draper had bought 30,000 Bitcoin at 632 bucks a coin. I'm a believer that in four years, something like that, that uh, Bitcoin will be about a 5% market share of the earth. Um, <laughs> okay. And it's a better currency. Okay. It's decentralized, open. Uh, it's transparent. You, everybody knows what happens on the blockchain. It is, um, I eventually want to have a fund where I take in Bitcoin and I fund everybody in Bitcoin and they pay their employees and suppliers in Bitcoin. And then I pay my uh, investors in Bitcoin because I would then require no accounting, no legal, no bookkeeping, no custody. It would all be done. Okay, so do you understand he's got a telescope? He looks so far down the line to the man that Tim partnered with on that very concept. Here in a Fox Business exclusive, we welcome Draper Gorin Holm, co-founder Alone Gorin. Uh, Alone, welcome. You know, we could show you an up to the second Bitcoin price right now. It is up 661% since that 2018 low. I mean, you look at the price now, it's down slightly today, but I mean, we're talking $22,770 a coin. Does Bitcoin history repeat itself and fall apart as it did three years ago tomorrow? Make the call. No, I'm sure it's going to be a roller coaster, but I don't see that happening again. Why? What is at the heart of that? What do you know today that we didn't know three years ago today? You know, yeah, you know, for years we've been screaming, the institutions are coming, the institutions are coming. And uh, and today you're seeing it at, at a whole different level. You know, micro strategies, we see, we saw Guggenheim make their, four, they said Bitcoin should be at $400,000 right now. Um, and, you know, Tim Draper's price prediction of 250K by uh, 2022, all those things are, are happening. It's going to be a roller coaster. Don't get me wrong. There's going to be a lot of volatility and craziness compared to normal markets. But People are here now. The institutions really are here. And these institutions, like the, the seeds of it were happening at that SALT conference uh, you were at last year or, or um, 2019. And, uh, and yeah, 2019, you know, it's, yeah. it, it's happening. I think that at that conference, um, uh, everyone was saying that there were these reports coming out that institutions should put a small percentage of their funds into Bitcoin. And now it's actually happening. Well, you guys were ahead of it. Uh, you also own Bitcoin. Are you and or Tim at least taking some money off the table? Because I'm sure you're in the money. You know, uh, I, I am a huge fan and I believe in Tim's 250K prediction. And I hope that the Guggenheim prediction comes true even sooner. Um, so, you know, for me, it's all about accumulating. And for us as a business, we're investing in the companies and the infrastructure behind it. So I see this as just mm -hmm. the beginning. Let's talk about that. You incubate blockchain startups. Blockchain, of course, is the, the digital ledger that helps anyone basically track every single stage of where cryptocurrency goes because this is a, you know one of the biggest fears. Nobody can see where it's going and you'll lose it and you miss the password, et cetera. But tell us what you're seeing in this early seed venture time when it comes to the blockchain names. You know, for me, it's it's we look at Bitcoin, right? And that's that's leading uh, the conversation, at least. And, and it's really, really exciting. And I look at that and I go, OK, this is this is like the Internet. This is this is not necessarily the single thing we need to be talking about or thinking about. But if the future economy is going to be digitized on a blockchain, whether it's Bitcoin or Ethereum or Tezos or something else, there's going to be a whole underlying layer of companies who are Who's going to be the next Goldman Sachs? Who's going to be the next AWS? Who's going to power this brand new economy? And we find those companies, those individuals, and we invest in them. 
Uh, you know, you just mentioned Ethereum. What about the, the names out there aside from Bitcoin? There's Ethereum, there's Ripple XRP. Do you invest in those names as well? Uh, I'm definitely a huge fan of Ethereum. I'm definitely a huge fan of Tezos because those are underlying layers where the smart contracts will actually be able to replace a lot of what the banks are doing today. So right now, when a bank loans you money or when you get a savings account or something like that, there's a lot of fat there, not just from a the perspective of them taking profits and giving you only a tiny sliver, but in the actual management. And so when AI and smart contracts start combining with what can be done on the blockchain, all of a sudden, the bank is going to be automated. The, the fat is going to be gone. And all of a sudden, what lending looks like in a bank will be much, much different than it is today. And it'll be more fair and transparent and available for everyone around the world. We've got about 20 seconds. Am I hearing that the bank should be nervous? The banks should be very, very nervous. You know, I think that you know, companies like Lunar Crush are going to be the next Bloomberg. I think that companies like PrimeDAO or these organizations are going to be the next prime brokerages. I think that Rivet is going to power uh, the future internet. So these things are coming and all stocks and bonds and, and everything is going to be tokenized and that's going to be powered by Onera. Like these companies are coming and they're either going to have to acquire them, adopt their technology or go out of business. Well, we are watching Bitcoin and just a bit of a, a retrenchment today. Hardly anything. Still at $22,000. Alan, come and join us once again. We appreciate it. Alon Goran. We are coming right back. Dow Jones Industrials down 247. Low of the session, 251. We're kind of getting there right this second. Stay tuned.